What is a save in a VRB? Okay. Right, I'm back and ready to continue. Actually, hold on again. Right, sorry about that. Right. Hopefully that's uh, all the interruptions out of the way. Let's go. The protection. I've heard that before, Umberto. Tommy, relax. I'll call some of my men to deal with it. It's too late. They already know about the plan. We'll need an armed convoy to get the shipment out of here. Maybe just getting the right man to keep watch. Maybe just getting the right man to keep watch could be a better solution to your problem. Hey, Umberto, who's this? This is Flint Casey. He's been helping us out. Umberto's hired muscle, huh? Yeah, and you are? I'm Tommy Versetti. Now let me tell you something. You work for Umberto, so that means you work for me. Got it? Now tell me, how can one man protect my car against an entire gang? You get me a rifle and I'll watch over your van from the rooftops. Umberto will get this guy's sniper rifle and show him the routes. The van is loaded and should be on its way shortly. Make sure, that it re make sure it reaches its destination. You better not screw this up. Don't worry, Mr. Versetti. I'll get the job done. Right, so this is the sniper rifle mission I kept uh, banging on about earlier on. Right. So, the first vantage point is on that Kaufman Cabs billboard up there. Yes. Which is where we find the... Uh, laser scope sniper rifle in uh, Vice City, as in the vanilla game. Right. And there is some armour later on, by the way. It's pretty straightforward, to be honest with you. <clears throat> right. Is there something on the ground as well? Hold on. Yeah, I thought there was. Oh dear, I wasn't quick enough. Okay, you've got to be a lot quicker than that, mate. Right, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, uh, I'll probably go for the further away guys first and then take out the closer ones, or is that wise? Yeah, annoyingly enough I got past this mission on my first try when I uh, first played it in a practice run. Right, okay. I clearly don't do well under pressure, i.e. when I'm uh, when I know I'm recording. Right, come on. That's better. There we go. Whatever. <laughs> Pew. Right, so the next vantage point, FYI, is just, uh, hold on, just opposite, I mean, around the back of Cafe Rubina. Yeah, up here. I like to think the van gets uh, my health refill with each vantage point, you know. Right, 
Let's take out these guys quickly. Oh, quickly I said, come on. And that guy too. Damn, I can't get him. Can't, no. Right. The van is up ahead. I don't uh, see any more. Oh, I do know. Okay. Good. Grab this taxi. I won't get it. Mm. Right. And to get to this vantage point, you just go up here. Are you sure? Yes. And there's that armor I mentioned. Okay. And I think this is the last one. Nice and fast, come on. Quick. More over there. I think that's all of them. Looks like it to me. Nicely done. Okay. I'm gonna lose a tiny chunk of armor, but it's fine. I'm sure I'll live. Come on, Tommy, get up there. Right. Sorry, I'm burst out. Not really. Holding the line. Love isn't always on time. I say no to that, man. Flint, Connor, where the hell have you been? I'm pretty sure I was out doing a job for you. I don't know. All I know is that the Haitians are plotting another attack. Actually, I also know that no one is protecting our weapons. Well, when have you taken them and who's in charge? My friend Tommy said we could trust his contact, Phil Cassidy. He was, he was supposed to keep the weapons safe for us. But instead, my boys tell me he's out drinking. Go talk some sense into this idiot. He was last seen entering the Crocs bar. Okay. Uh, from what I remember, the cutscene at the bar is uh, rather long. Boink. Quack. Oh. Never mind. The duck is disappointed. What are you doing here? Shut up! <clears throat> You'll blow our cover, soldier. Sounds like you've had one too many. I'm on duty. The enemy is near. I've acquired some very useful enemy intel. We must act quickly, Private. 
Right. We need to mobilize our troops. I know a couple of friends who could help. <clears throat> Pick them up and report back to my place. Take my truck. How are you going to get there if I've got your truck? I'll walk. Can't really drive right now. Okay. And since I'm here, I might as well. Right. Nice Patriot. <laughs> There you go. I think the dock is satisfied now. Right. I think I'll pick up the f further south one first and then I'll get the guy from outside screw this on the way back to Phil's place. I think I saw a pink marker in the car showed him, so maybe you uh, can use it in this demo. Right. Ah, now from what I remember, there's um, a minor bug in this mission. Basically, what happens is. Um, one of the, or two of the enemies in this mission are in, what the fucking hell is up with these graphical glitches? Um, two of the enemies in this mission are in a sparrow, um, but each time I've played this mission so far, the sparrow has got stuck against a building, but luckily it was able to um, wriggle free, well, eventually. So let's see what happens this time around. You like what I've done? My new decoration. Looks heavy. You sure you won't need a hand with that? First things first, the Haitians are out looking for their arms. Guess you're not the only one who's lost some arms then. I'm about to lose my temper too. As I was saying, they are searching. They know the weapons are somewhere in Little Haiti. I suggest we get into position before a bunch of pissed off Haitians raid this place. Get behind the machine gun. Move it. Right. So to get up there, there's some steps round the back. Okay. Right, you see that uh, building over there? That's where the Sparrow has a habit of getting stuck against. So let's see what happens. I can see those cocksuckers. Let the fun begin! So it's a bit like uh, an arm shortage from GTA 3. Oh, would you look at that? The Sparrow didn't glitch out. Amazing. Phil's got a better Patriot than you. There. That's what I'm talking about. We just kicked their asses. Doubt anyone will come looking here again. I wouldn't be too sure about that. Trust me, this whole ordeal will be behind us very soon. 
All these weapons were brought here for a reason. They'll be put to use by our Cuban friends. It's only a matter of time. Sure, whatever you say. Okay. Is there still a Patriot in here? There is as well. I have to get some dinner very soon, by the way, so, um, I'll be uh, ending the recording session shortly. Let me do a couple more missions first, though. Okay. Right, I'll get the Sanchez. Bitch goes down. Today's a great day, Flint. One the Haitians will remember. Interesting. Why is that? They're about to find out how real men live and little girls die. Whose titties will they be sucking when their mama goes missing? I'm not following. Whose tits? What? The woman who runs that entire gang known as Auntie Poulet dies today. Ah, okay, I'm listening. There's a bunch of thugs patrolling their hood, directly at the, directly at the border with our territory. Go there and waste them all. Leave no survivors. They will try to hold that area. That's when we move in from the inside. It's a solid plan. You've got plenty of ammo at the stronghold in Little Haiti. When you finish the first job, join my boys and clean up the rest of the neighbourhood. They'll let you know when she shows up. I want her dealt with once and for all. Now go and make Umberto proud. Right, uh, where was the... Ah, okay, just got to attack these guys. Couldn't quite remember. Oh, oh, we're under attack. You certainly are. Oh. oh, come on, just stay up there for fuck's sake, Flint. Yeah, answer your pants or something. Ow. Ah, right, hold on. I seem to remember grenades worked quite well in this mission. Yeah. Right in the arm. Right, um... Nah, I can't get him from there. Just sleep him. I'm judge and I'm jury and I'm executioner too. They took the bait and called for backup. Okay. Ow. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Not for long.
Hi, bye. I want to hear you scream. Ow. <laughs> well, if I fail this mission, I will be screaming with rage. Right. No, I don't baseball bat him, just do this. Oh no. Oh jeez, a big shit box. Right in the way. Okay, fine. Jesus. Okay, can I get over this fence? I can't. Right. Can I get in this? I can't. Good. Right, watch your armour. Only got a quarter left. Ooh, that was almost, but not almost enough, a double quack. Right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here they come. Oh, not quite. Oh, no, 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 no! Where the hell did he come from? Holy shit! I almost had a fucking heart attack. Okay. There she is. Right, I'll grab this Cuban Hermes and chase them down. Oh, look, I've got a flat tire. I'll grab the Speedo instead, which I can do for a minute. I thought it was locked. Yeah, I thought it was locked, so I didn't hear the uh, door opening. It's a speedo, but it's not very fast, I must say. <laughs> right. In a practice run, I managed to kill her by getting the car stuck somewhere and then just shooting her in the head. That's right, run. Just you watch this. Oh, did I get her? I don't think I did. Yeah, you know me with my bad aim. The chances of me uh, pulling off something like that are pretty uh, slim. <laughs> oh, their car's not bulletproof. And I don't know, because again, in a practice run, I killed her by shooting her in the head. By getting the car stuck somewhere. Right, hold on. Oh, nice try. I think that's my vehicle that's uh, smoking it is, unfortunately. Drat. That's it. Ah, that was crap. You've heard of a wild goose chase, now we've got the wild anti poulet chase. Wild chicken chase, because poulet is French for chicken. And what is that guy doing? That guy's running around. I think that car is bulletproof. Ah! Come on! Oh, they appear to be just... Yeah, they just keep going in, this, in a big fucking circle. Right, you know what? Nah, this is not gonna work. This is ridiculous, come on! I've got to get, get stuck somewhere. I 
guess that's one way to lose weight. See, I keep spinning them all the way around, and that's just a... Uh... Right. Surely this time I've got them. I don't believe it. If my aim wasn't so bad... Now, if my aim wasn't so atrocious, this mission would be over by now. Now, their car must be bulletproof. No. Right, do you know what I'm going to do? I noticed there's a Cuban Hermes part in Little Haiti. So I'm going to grab that and continue the chase. Right. I've got a new plan. Use a grenade to blow the car up. Switch to this car quickly. Come on. I haven't got time. Come on, go. Come on. You've got this. Come on. Well, this is easy. Come on. Well, with my aim, it's not easy. I'm sorry, folks. I've got a terrible, terrible aim. Stop shooting the car, it's clearly bulletproof. Out, come on, out! Oh no. Now they're gonna get away for sure. Well, not yet. Oh, <laughs> I was wondering when that would happen. Oh, you fuckhead. Don't flip the van over. It looks like you can't lose them for going too far away, which is good. Come on. I need to get them st No, just shoot them in the head. Okay, I was the reticule was clearly over Auntie Pooley's head and she wasn't taking damage. Why is that? Hmm? Why? Excuse me. Right. No. No, you don't. Don't tell me it's explosion proof as well. No, it's not good. Thank God it's over. Flint Casey? Yeah, who's this? I work for Frank Highhorn down the Little Havana Police Department. Great. When I'll be able to speak to him? He said you should come now. Right now? Correct. The sooner the better. Okay. Give me the address of the police station. I'll catch a cab. 
That's a negative. You need to get your ass to Starfish Island. There's a black van waiting for the east at the most eastern villa. You must be Hello? Crap. Right, I'm uh, I'll get some armor from here. And then I'll save to refill my health, and then I'll do the mission on Starfish and then come off. Oh, for fuck's sake! I just picked that up, you twat! What an absolute twat head. Oh. Yeah, so clearly, shooting anti pulley in the head wasn't going to work so well. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> right, I'm going to reload my save to sort out these graphical errors. No, alternatively, just quit the game and then load it back up again. That'll hopefully sort it out. Once and for all. Jeez, I've never seen this before. It's it's not my computer. No, it's definitely not my computer. I think it's just some kind of bug. Right. See you shortly. Okay, so I've, I quit out of the game and then opened it back up again. Hopefully that's fixed it for good. Okay. Now this mission on Starfish is actually a bit tough, but with any luck I'll be able to pass it on my first try. Looks like a car you'd see in Driver. Right, the Starfish Chainsaw Massacre. Make yourself comfortable, Casey. Hey, what the hell is this, huh? We have a load of evidence saying you're a damn good hitman. So that piece is for you. I'm not touching that. I have no idea what you're talking about, friend. Wanna tell me where I'll find Frank? Don't act dumb with me, Casey. Frank needs you to do something for him and then we'll talk. Now, there's a nosy reporter working for the Vice City newspaper, Mel Jefferson. He's been looking into a series of local murders lately. Long story short, the killer found out where he lives. He called Mel earlier and said he's on his way to his home address. Mel already called the cops, but we pulled them off. Why would you do, why would you do that? Mel's been doing some digging he shouldn't have, so we need him gone. We know who you are, so consider this a personal favour for Frank. Bring any files he has on Frank that you can find. Now go. We'll be watching. Hope that uh, loss of three points of armor won't go against me in this mission. Fingers crossed. Bloody hell, nerve gas? 
Right, so I can't sprint or jump, otherwise I'll lose health. Right. The killer is just around the corner. Be careful. Hold on. Right. Ah, Jesus Christ. Ah, get back, get back. No! Ah, uh, this is a. I told you it's a tough mission. Right, let's try again. I mean, I did uh, try pressing the left control and right control buttons to dodge his attacks, but it wasn't working for some reason. Not sure why. Right, let's try again. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, that chainsaw-wielding maniac did have a lot of nerve. Okay. Total bad man in that house. Oh, not this again. <laughs> that happens on my second attempt at this mission in a practice run as well, yeah. Oh, that's a flipping awesome start. Jesus. Remember, you can't jump or sprint, otherwise you'll lose health. Right. Ah! Oh! Come on, get knocked over. You know you want to. There we go. Right. Right. I can't uh, run either, as you can see. Yeah, the nerve gas is uh, restricted Flint's movement. The file, from what I remember, is in the living room up here. Yeah, right there. And then luckily for me, we get to switch the nerve gas dispenser off after this point. Yeah. Right, so once this mission is over, I will save back in Ocean Beach. Because I think the next strand of missions take place back in Ocean Beach. Or, they start in Ocean Beach. Yep, yeah, that's what I mean. And then I will come off. In the dispenser is that uh, red thing at the bottom of the steps. Yeah, right there. Whew. <laughs> Hashtag fake blood. See? What did I tell you? Good work, Casey. And you've got the files, too. I already told Frank you did well. We'll give VCPD credit for that. 
maniacs take down. Make the whole thing look, make the whole thing look like a homicide. How about I cut you two up unless you take me to Frank right now? Won't have time for jokes right now, you... I'm not repeating that. You get to speak to Frank soon enough. But as we find ourselves in the middle of a crime scene... Do me a big favour. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> Let me get the bike. Well folks, that wraps up the first recording session of the Shine of Ice demo playthrough. Hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching, stay solid and don't let anti pool bite. Until next time, take care and good night Vice City. Dirty, dirty man. Okay folks, welcome back to the Shine of Vice demo. Let's get the show back on the road. Now in case you're wondering uh, why I'm not heading back over to Starfish to do that uh, next mission which is there, um, it's because um, even, though there is a, even though there is a pink marker there, um, there is no actual mission to be triggered. So I'm just going to move straight on to the missions for Jeff, starting with Kids Play. <clears throat> Word on the street is you're getting quite popular, Flint. It's only a matter of time until we find out what happened to your brother. I've hired someone to be my head of security. He's also a part-time mechanic. You're kidding me, right? His methods may seem a little strange at first, but he's certainly one of the best in the field. <clears throat> Trust me, you're going to need someone like him when times get tough. You should go see him. <laughs> He's got a shop in North Beach, you can find him there. Right. So you know that uh, little ring road, which is uh, just west of the uh, pizza shop in Vice Point? Yep, yeah, it's there. Oh god. So this is uh, one of three RC missions in this demo. One of which takes place here. Yeah, that's called Shady Acres. <clears throat> hey, you Jeff's guy? What well, depends on who's asking? I'm Flint. Jeffy told me you work in security. I could use some of that. My name is Rodrigo. Sure, I'll work for you but only as long as the pay is good. How about a different kind of arrangement? We could exchange some favours instead. That is convenient because I'm a little busy here and there's a job I need done. I've left my van nearby. Get to that van and you'll find further instructions inside. Right, so I'm here and the van is all the way down there. Let's review the definition of nearby, Rodrigo. Okay. 
So this one is uh, very similar to uh, Toy Minator from GTA 3. client wants to remove some coke dealers in the area. <clears throat> Use the RC buggies to destroy their vehicles in time. Keep in mind you only have five buggies with a limited range of control. Right. I'm going to go for the fastest vehicle first, which I think is this one up north. Luckily, I think the vehicles do keep going in the same direction each time you play. Okay, that's not the one I was thinking of. One of the cars is a rather fast cheetah, which doesn't stop for red lights, unlike the other vehicles. <clears throat> I think that's one of the vehicles up ahead. Yeah, it is indeed. No, I won't. Fuck yourself. Donut muncher. You think that's funny? Yes. Ha 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 ha. My sides are splitting like crazy. Therefore, it is funny. Right, where's that car going? Right, if memory serves me right, after he drives past the hospital, he then starts driving up Ocean Drive. After he eventually finds his way around that area. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, if I had a pound for every time I accidentally clicked on uh, yeah, start new game instead of map during my uh, hard lined mod playthrough, I'd be rich. Right. I might just speed the video up until the car comes up Ocean Drive. Right, zippity bop and dada. Please excuse my extremely shoddy performance. I clearly detonated the car way too early on the you know when the car first came up Ocean Drive when I was waiting for it. Okay. Is that a quicker car. Probably. Dude. Okay, hold on. Okay, he's pissed off at me. Alright, so let's go back and see Jeff and then I'll do some missions for Rodrigo. Oh, I think I know what this mission is all about. Yes, men hunt. Here we go. Jeff around? Grab a seat. We need to talk. I'm excited already. I think I'll stand. <laughs> Good answer. That agent who works for Frank called me. He said you two already met. <laughs> Tells me I gotta take my chopper and uh, fly to the to the Marina Sands Hotel. There's a job for us. Get to the point already, would you, Jeff? There's a family staying at the hotel, and you need to take them out. Something tells me there's a problem. 
they're under witness protection, Flint. Fran Frank wants all three targets eliminated quietly. Great, a triple murder added to my resume. Come on, you made some good connections so far. I'm running around this town killing people for criminals. You've made some decent money, man. You should be happy. Yeah, well, I'm actually starting to feel like a damn idiot. Oh, before I forget, you can't be seen. <laughs> the main hall is packed with security, so you'll, so you'll use the rooftop entrance. If a secu security guard spots you, the deal is off and you're on your own. Alright, let's go. The sooner we do this, the sooner I should be getting answers. Okay. This one, as you can imagine, is all about stealth and patience. And uh, a bit of skill as well, specifically at the end. You're on your own for now. I'll be keeping a low profile. Good luck. Okay. Plop. Okay. okay the first target is behind that pink marker. There's a guard right there, but he's got his back turned. That's fine. Easy pickings. Move, and I'll make you watch as I murder your family. <laughs> Snuff him out. Beautiful. You're warming up our audience nicely. Also, how is it raining inside the hotel? It's either that or uh, someone needs to get that sprinkler system looked at. Right. I just wanted to point out to you guys that that's not the way to go. This is the way to go. Right. The next two pink markers are on this floor, okay? Gotta get past him first, though. Yeah, even if you uh, kill the security guards with your knife, you know, without getting spotted or without a gun firing, you still get identified and the mission fails. Ooh, I hope that that cutscene cancelled out him spotting me. That is one powerful ass hammer. Are you sure it's a regular hammer, not a sledgehammer? Right, where's the guy? Right there, okay. When he goes past again, I'll make my way to that pink marker, which is further around. Yeah, you're not you're not the prostitute I ordered. Get lost and I'm calling security. <coughs> what a fucking pushover. Right, flee the scene undetected. Oh shit. That's not fair. I didn't know where the guy was. Yeah, and you may have noticed that um, sometimes, um, yeah, as you can see, it looks like the uh, save file on slot 8 has been deleted, but it's not. It's just a bug. Remember, this is a demo. It's incomplete. Right. 
Right, here we go again, folks. Okay. And this time I'm just going to stay here until I see that guy going past you yeah, like that. When he goes back that way, I'll come out of my hiding place. He's not going to see me now, surely. Oh, fuck, he did. Who- Oh, that guy up there! Oh, shit. I've never been spotted by that guy before. Well, there's a first time for everything, as they say. In case you're wondering, the way out is um, on the ground floor, but um, I don't know if it's possible to just uh, jump over the rail, the railings, and drop down. And I also know that there is um, there is a guard who's patrolling the ground floor, well, part of the ground floor. Just go in here quickly. Yes, I know because that guy upstairs spots me. Hmm. thinking about making a very mad dash back to the, <clears throat> the stairs after he goes that way. I'm probably just going to get spotted though. Yeah. This is probably the hardest mission in the mod in my opinion. That bit's not too bad, but this bit... That's annoying because I saw him going around the corner there. So I need to look out for that guy who's uh, on the floor above me, you know, at the balcony. I didn't have this much trouble with this mission when I was not recording, you know, in the practice room. Just want to see where that guy's going. Yeah, that guy up there. Yeah.
Right. I like to think he's turned round. Yeah, good. Good, no gunshots. Right. Oh shit. Spotted that guy just in time. As long as they don't somehow spot me through the wall, I'll be happy. So I'll show you where this guy goes for the benefit of those of you those of you who've never played this mod before. Careful. <laughs> so I need to go out here. And he only comes up two flights of stairs and then when he gets to that corner he turns back and goes back down again. So I've got to very quickly run past him. Ooh, well done. As long as I don't get spotted by the guy up there. By the way, it's that way. Shit. I'm out. <sighs> Thank God for that. <laughs> Good job. And I think you'll find that's the pavement, not the road. <laughs> Crazy. Right, that's uh, all the missions for Jeff out of the way. I will now save and get the missions for Rodrigo out of the way. I will also prove to you that um, there are no missions for uh, the person on Starfish left to do, as in Frank. <laughs> okay. Couldn't remember the name. Yeah, judging by the height of those railings in the hotel corridors, um, I don't think it was possible to just uh, jump over them. These next two missions are pretty cool. One of them is quite tough though, but uh, now that I've done that mission a couple of times, as in, in practice runs, it might not be too bad. Fingers crossed. Right. I'm not seeing any more uh, vehicle graphical issues. Good, good. Right. Shady business. <clears throat> How's she coming together? Hmm, it seems like there are still some faulty parts. Well, fuck! You alright over there? Yeah, I'm fine. Patience is the key to success, my friend. I better leave you to it then. Hey, if you like playing with the toys last time, I've got more for you. I must admit, that was kind of fun. Well, there's only one buggy left, but don't be disappointed. Go to Shady Acres. You'll use my toys to remove the private security in the neighbourhood. This should reduce the rent expense from my client. I'm going to launch an RC plane that will be circling the island on autopilot. you use the RC buggy to drive up to the guards and mark their position. The RC plane will then drop an explosive charge and wipe them out at that spot. 
Oh, and don't waste, mu- don't waste much time. The RC plane has a limited battery capacity. Yeah, I like this mission. Oh, they have to work fast. Because, again, limited battery. Right, can't get that. I can't get that because the driver's a twat. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Okay. So we're basically using the RC buggy or RC car as an airstrike laser designator. Right, so to get to Shady Acres, don't do that. Go this way, up this road, under the archway, and just keep following the road. Or try, an emphasis on try to take a shortcut. Oh dear, right. Sorry! Hey man, my car! Leave my damn car alone, man! Right, so I'm just going to drive around, and when I find the targets, I press the plus button on my keyboard. Now I'll start, start from the bottom and work my way up, I guess. Right. Oh, come on. Hello? There. I was pressing the plus key on my keyboard and now it was happening. Okay, just checking around. Okay. You can only mark uh, one target at a time. I.e. You can't mark another target until the plane has dropped the bomb. Right. I think I'll go with this house now. Given that this gate is open, there must be some enemies in here too. Yep. Right. Right. Uh, oh, come on, don't get stuck on the curb, please. I don't have time for this shit. Right. Not every house has uh, targets at it, by the way, in case you're wondering. Mm. Any here? No. Right, I'll uh, go here now. And if memory serves me right, I think some houses have multiple targets. Right, how the hell do we get in there again? Like this, maybe? Yeah, definitely. inch of the houses. Right. I think the only way to get those guys is by laser designating, yeah, just outside the wall. It's a shame you can't uh, run them over with the RC buggy. One plane, get on with it. Oh, come on. Right. Nice. Okay. Right. Yay, good. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. 
This is what horses eat. I have to say the uh, that that mission was giving me some uh, mercenaries playground of destruction vibes. Ah, uh, that's a good game. Right. Next mission for Rodrigo coming very shortly. Right, and uh, where the hell am I going? No idea. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. I will need these guns for the final mission in this demo. Oh yeah. Ain't no doubt about it. Strange things are happening to me. Right, so I'm not going to bother saving, I'm just going to get the next mission for Rodrigo out of the way right now. Okay. This is one of the most creative missions I've ever played in any GTA mod. Top fun. That's a nice plane you got there. You surely remember it from last time. Now behold, my latest project is completed. Sweet. You mean you finally got that thing fixed? I wasn't repairing it at all, actually. Rather converting it into a full-sized RC car. I know you specialise in killing people, but I'm going to need your help to test it. You're a nice guy and all, but I'm not willing to, to sign up to be your crash test dummy. Relax, neither of us is going anywhere. Pretend it's one of those video games. I'll be operating the plane like, like an eye in the sky. Simultaneously, you drive the car using a remote controller from this bench here. I still don't get it. Why do we need the, why do we need the plane? You need to rely on it for a video transmission to see where the car is going. It's important that you can keep up with the plane and remain within a visible radius. I need to obtain some speed readings. Push the car to its limits when instructed. Okay. Wait for it, guys. Right, so I have to uh, drive the buggy. Yes. From this camera angle. Yep. Very, very creative. Right. I'm going to hit the checkpoints. If the plane goes too far away from the buggy, mission failed. Right, oh god. Oh, Jesus, don't tell me it's flipped upside down. Oh, that's a fucking wonderful start. Jeez. <laughs> the hell did you press? The system isn't responding. Sorry. <laughs> oh, god almighty. Right, let's try again. I've never done that before. Well, once again, there's a first time for everything. Right, yeah I know mission failed text bugger the hell off already. Right, out of the way civilian traffic. Important business. Right. Oh. Right, slow down. Right. <clears throat> Next one is at the beach. Ah, I can't see because the trees. What's a jerky camera? Just don't go too far ahead. One plane, catch up. Okay. Is the next checkpoint... No, from what I remember, that checkpoint is on the grass. Not the beach. Oh god. Right, get a move on. Oh shit. Oh come on, spin. Okay. Right. Oh come on, don't flip it over again, please. Come on. 
Uh, right, use the radar to see where you're going. Damn it. Okay, here I am. Right, uh, other way, other way, quickly, 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 quickly. I still got to get to the end of the course, remember? Right, use that radar again. Okay. And I've beaten the target. Good. Let's conclude this test already. Nice. Right. I'll start with that M60. Nice. Okay. Right. I am going to, well first I'm going to show you what's up with that uh, mission marker on Starfish Island. And then I'll get some armour, because I will need it for the next mission. Because the next mission is the last one in this demo. Boo! Well, as they say, all good things must come to an end. I'm pretty sure this uh, pink marker is uh, a dud, shall we say. Yeah. Okay. Remember, this is only a demo. Yes, I just killed you. I did more than just hurt you. Right, I'll uh, grab this quick car and I'll make a trip down to ammunition and buy some armour. And then save and then do the final mission. I seem to remember when I first went into Ammunition, when Ammunition was first um, unlocked in this demo, even body armor, body armor was out of stock. Okay. I didn't need uh, so much SMG ammo after all. <laughs> so I'll keep this car until I've got to Rodrigo's place. I could decide if I wanted to uh, save the game again so I could see a bit better, but I'm sure I'll be alright. At least I can, I can admire the lovely uh, graphics. And here we go, folks. Skyline flavor. Flint, get in the car. It's a fucking van. Hey, what's going on, man? There's no time to explain. Here, you need this. Jeff's being held for ransom. Need to get to the airport. Wait, 
aren't you responsible for Jeff's security? That's my job, I don't get paid to sleep with him. So who's got Jeff? I don't know, but they sound serious. They wanted the money. I just took it from Jeff's own stash. Now take us to the airport. And by the way, you have to get to the airport quickly because I found out the hard way that there is an invisible time limit at this point in the mission. Yep. So I uh, I made the mistake of grabbing armor on the way to the airport one time in this mission and uh, ran out of time and the mission failed. Gotta go fast. The end part of this mission is pretty creative as well. Bugger off car. I can do that too. Yeah, I tried to get armour from that SWAT van, but ran out of time. And you're probably wondering, how? It only takes you a few seconds. Well. I think I also wanted to get more shotgun ammo as well. Okay. Minute. Wait in the car and keep the engine running, okay? That's not all right. Are you sure about this? I got it, Flint. I'll just check up on Jeff first. Gonna make sure he's okay. The whole thing stinks, Rodrigo. I don't like this at all. Alright, let's not make this complicated. Who's in charge here? Where's the money? I don't see it. Money talks, bullshit walks. Die, asshole. Right. These guys have shotguns. I'm gonna fuck them up with the M60. And, oh, sniper rifle's gone. Bloody hell, didn't expect that. Okay, fine. Ow. You want to play that game? Fine. Oh god. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Silly me. Silly security. Come on. Right. Hold on, Jeff. I'll get you out of here. Get inside, you idiot! Have a nice trip. My hands are tied. Help me get in control. Good. Now undo the ropes. I won't make it, Jeff. We're going down. Or should that be? I won't make it, Jeff. We're going down. To be continued. Dot dot bloody dot. Well, talk about short and sweet. 
that is the end of my Shine of Ice demo playthrough. So as mentioned, it looks like the mod creators are actually working on the rest of the missions in Shine of Ice. But when or if we will see those... I don't know. Oh god. <laughs> the game just crashed. <laughs> But whether or not we will actually see the final version, I'm not sure. But hey, as I said, all good things come to those who wait. Anyway, folks, I will see you in the next playthrough, which might end up being San Andreas with the Challenge San Andreas mod. Hope you enjoyed this playthrough. Stay solid and don't let men hunt bite. Until next time, take care and good night, Vice City. And I'll see you in the next playthrough, whatever it may be.